My name is Craig Lean. I'm the former OSCCP director. Loved being OSCCP director. Uh, in January, I once I left the agency, I became a member of the Circuit Board. And I've been doing that since January and loving it. And also, I'm a partner at KNL Gates in DC in the Labor, Employment, and Workplace Safety Practice Group. The week went wonderfully. It was so nice to be back together with everybody. I was happy to see the NLG conference follow all the COVID protocols that's so important during a pandemic. It was wonderful to be together though again and to talk about something that's so critical and, and central to what NILG stands for, which is Equal Employment Opportunity. Lots of very helpful uh, sessions, uh, webinars, um, plenary sessions, uh, speeches from leaders in the EO field, including Director Jenny Yang, including EOC Chair Charlotte Burroughs, uh, EOC Commissioner Keith Sonderling. I'm speaking tomorrow, I'm looking forward to it. So I just think it was, it was so comprehensive, touching every aspect of diversity, equity, inclusion, equal employment opportunity. This is the place to be if you're in this field. So it was so exciting to come back. Well, I tell them, get ready for affirmative action verification. Uh, OFCCP is moving in a big way back towards affirmative action. Affirmative action, you know, was established in the 60s and 70s. It's something that has been a focus of the agency for a long time, but a lot of that focus has moved toward non-discrimination in employment. Agencies moving back to focusing on outreach and recruitment to minorities and women, trying to increase employment of people with disabilities and protected veterans, putting together comprehensive affirmative action programs, and then verifying that to the agency on an annual basis. A lot of companies aren't ready to do verification, so you do need to get ready. I would take that very seriously. One other point I would make is embrace it. It's not just a regulatory requirement. In this day and age, and what we're seeing in this moment in our country, is that diversity, equity, and inclusion is so critical to successful organizations. And so uh, use the opportunity to develop a comprehensive affirmative action program and to verify compliance as a way to also promote DEIA in your organization and get people involved and excited about it. Because one thing that a lot of the studies show is that an inclusive environment, a diverse environment, tends to be a more productive environment. It's good for business and it's also the right thing to do. Oh, I love it. Circa's been wonderful. I started with Circa right after I finished as OCCP director. I, I'm on the board. I've done a number of webinars and speeches with Circa, with different leaders in the EO field, both at Circa and others in the field generally that Circa sponsors. It's been a lot of fun. Circa touches on all aspects of OCCP compliance, many, many uh, clients and customers, and that's it's given me access to them and to be able to talk about something that's so critical to me, diversity, equity, inclusion, and acceptance. Accessibility. I've done a lot of discussions on neurodiversity in employment, which is something that is very close to my heart as a parent of two children on the autism spectrum. And I, I just love talking about these issues. Circa has really made that possible for me. So I think very highly of the organization. I'm looking forward to see what OCCP does with diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility. President Biden issued the DEIA order. Uh, and so you're seeing a lot of the federal workforce focus on, on those principles. But I think what you're going to see is OFCCP start to publish best practices and guidance to federal contractors on how to have compliant and sufficient diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility programs. So that's one area I'm looking forward to seeing where the agency goes. And then affirmative action verification. What do they do with that? That's going to be the largest increase in affirmative action in the, in the history of the United States, potentially. Uh, certainly since the 1970s, uh, with many contractors and companies who have not had compliant affirmative actions in the past, finally having to put those together and, and supply. And that's why I tell companies, do it now. Get ready. You want to be able to verify compliance. And like I said, embrace it. It's something that's very positive for an organization and it's good for business.